formula auditing. When you get given a spreadsheet that you might not have built yourself, sometimes it's handy to be able to look through the workbook and have a look at where the formulas are coming from and if cells that look like they're standalone cells with numbers, if those numbers are then being used in other formulas. To help you out with this, in the Formulas tab at the top, there's an option called Formula Auditing, which encompasses all of this area here. We have tools such as Trace Precedence, Trace Dependence, Remove Arrows, and also this option here called Show Formulas. Let's look at this option first, Show Formulas, and if we click to turn this on, what it does is, on screen, it will show you the actual formulas inside the cell instead of the numbers. So if you still see numbers in some of the cells, then you know that they are cells that people literally just wrote numbers into. Whereas here you can see formulas inside the cells, so you know that these are doing something other than just a standard number being entered. If I turn off show formulas, again, we go back to just seeing the answers to the formulas. If I select a cell and I can see up here in the formula bar that it says it equals the total monthly income, but I'm not sure where that is in my spreadsheet, I can click on this option here called trace precedence. It will go and point out to me the cells that are being used in this formula. So I can see that this block here are being used currently in order to create this answer here. If I go to the next cell, again, it's showing me total monthly expenses. It's showing me total monthly expenses. And if I click trace precedence again, it's showing me where it's getting that information from and so on. Remove arrows will take all the arrows off screen. Those arrows don't print, but you can do a screen grab and then print that if you want. If I go over to a cell that currently looks like it's just a number inside of a cell, there's no formula in the formula bar, I can use the option called Trace Dependence to see if that cell is being used in any other formulas. So if I click on Trace Dependence, it's pointing to me the cells that are dependent on it. So I know that if I make a change to the value here, it would change what you're seeing here, here, and in these two cells as well. Again, if I remove the arrows, they'll disappear off screen. So precedence, dependence, remove arrows, and show formulas is just a nice way of navigating through a spreadsheet that you've just been given in order to see how it all works.